Good morning, everyone. Well, I know we had some rain move into the area last night. It forced uh, the city to bump up that fireworks display, and we actually got a pretty decent soaking overnight. We've seen over an inch and a half of rain here in Corpus Christi. If you look at radar now, things are kind of beginning to quiet down at the moment. We're actually seeing a lot of that shower activity that uh, impacted folks from about five to six this morning. It's begun to die down now, but we still have more off into the Gulf that we're going to have to keep an eye on. You can see here in Nueces County that all of those reds and yellows kind of disappeared. We're looking at just a couple of light sprinkles across the city right now. As you move further off to the west and here into northern Jim Wells County, we're seeing still a little bit of a splash and dash there just to the north of Alice. That's moving off uh, to the northwest, probably into the Owl Ranch area here shortly. Further on off into the Gulf, though, we've still got some showers and storms indicating we still have some moisture out there for the atmosphere to work with. So we may still continue to see some of those isolated to scattered showers throughout the area today. However, I don't expect coverage to be quite uh, as much as what we saw yesterday evening. So in terms of uh, the rest of the area, we've got a lot of clouds with this as well. That's making for a pretty cloudy sky this morning. Most of the rain has started to shift off to the west. That's where that area of low pressure is at now. So uh, we're starting to finally see the system work out of here. But that doesn't mean this is the end. In fact, we have another low pressure system right on the heels of this out here just to the south of the panhandle of Florida. And this is shifting off to the west as well. In fact, it's going to arrive by tomorrow increasing our rain chances tomorrow afternoon once again. So let's take you through future casts by 11 o'clock, some isolated showers and storms. Then into the afternoon, we're going to still continue to see some scattered showers in the area. However, uh, don't expect to see a lot of rain out of these. I think the atmosphere is pretty worked over from what we saw last night. Then overnight tonight, I think we're going to see a pretty decent uh, clearing. For this afternoon, those scattered showers and storms are going to be in the forecast, rising to a high in the upper 80s thanks to the extra clouds and the rain. We're also going to watch those rain chances stick around through the weekend before tapering off a bit for the start of next week. I'll be back with more within the next few minutes.